five by five square entryway and there's two very large closets. This one I actually use for my pantry. I just have a big bookshelf set up in here, but as you can see, I'm just gonna use it as a pantry and it's a very large storage space. to get a sense of this because I don't have a wide angle lens, but here is the living room and the kitchenette area there. The kitchen's pretty small, New York standard and basic, but um, I bought this piece from Ikea actually, which I'd be willing to sell which is a breakfast nook slash countertop slash storage. It's great and it fits really great in this space. I've got two tall chairs that I bought to go with it. So it's both storage and counter and eating space. Something that I really like about this place is it feels a lot like a loft because of that really tall ceilings. I think they're about 11 feet and the exposed pipes you can see on the ceiling there. Another feature of this apartment that I love are the really big, big windows. There are three large windows, two here in the living room, and then the one here in the kitchen, in the main living area. The bedroom we're going to walk into here is quite large, uh, but I have it sort of subdivided because I use it as an office space as well. And there are one two nice big closets. So we go back into this little nook area. And right now I have a queen size futon. I have this desk unit with the shelves from Ikea. This is like a walking Ikea ad. The bathroom is pretty standard. It's very nice and clean and white, all tiled painted it this sort of spa green color. I don't know what you want to call it. This is from the kitchen, the back corner of the kitchen. You can see the living room, the closed door is the bedroom, and the open door there that you see is the bathroom. And here's a shot of from the living room looking through the doorway to leave the apartment.